And pleasant, pleasant good morning, good morning, morning, morning. And it's a wonderful Friday morning again. And this is your minister, Ted Jones, and I am really, really excited to be here again. It is such a beautiful day already. It's a day that God has planned good stuff for us, for each and every one of us. And as a result of that, this morning, I want you to be excited excited about what is going to happen today and not only that excited for what god has in store for you for your future it is a day to praise it is a day to give god praise it is a day to give god thanks and we give god all the praise and all the thanks if if you knew what the devil had in store for you. If you knew what the devil had in store for your family and your property and your estate, if he was able to get his hands on it and do what it is he wishes, I, I, I know in all seriousness that you would have been in a sorry state. But God, God has been able to, to protect us, to be able to put his hand around us in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as the mountains are about Jerusalem, so is Almighty God among the people that he loves. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that you shall see with your eyes the protection of Almighty God. I thank you. It is well, it is well. And at this time, in the name of Jesus, I just want us to, to, to remember the people of, of Dominica and and. Barbuda, and all those islands that have been hit by the various hurricanes and storms that would have been passing through. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that not only will they be resourced and, and, and helped and God will supply, but I declare that God will supply every need through his people. You see, one of the things that, that, that God ministered to me, and it's something that I, um, I want to be able to throw to each and every one of us is that we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. And the truth of the matter is, is that there is no flavor that can come unless it comes through your, the people of God. Yes, that's you and that's me. So even as we pray for them to be resourced and they also help God, God, open our eyes and see how we can help. Show us, show me personally how I can help those poor people, how I can help those people struggling, those people that you love, oh almighty God, just as much as you love us. We always have to remember that. We have to remember that every grace we get, every opportunity we get, every chance of peace has been orchestrated by Almighty God. So it is not for us to behave as though we, it is something that we deserve, it is something that we have worked for, that we have earned. No. Men and women of God, I'm telling you that this Friday morning, even as we get excited about what God has for us, there is also a plan that God has for his people in Dominica and in every island that has been destroyed by all those, all those, all those acts of, 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 of nature. So men and women of God out there, I declare, I implore you, let us work together to see how we can help them. How, let us not be the ones, because I tell you, I, I speak to so many people, and there are so many negative people out there, and there are people who are saying, we don't have enough for ourselves. I tell you, if you are able to eat one slice of bread this morning, you can perhaps survive on half that to make sure that somebody else gets. That's the mindset we are supposed to have and it is that mindset that God would use to add all things unto us. Oh, Heavenly Father, you know the truth is, is that God continues men and women of God to love a cheerful giver. God continues to love a cheerful giver. And I know that within the Christian fraternity, we consider a cheerful giver one who gives in church. And that is extremely fine. I tell you, I encourage it. And I want you to continue. But the Bible never continued to cut, um, um, confine the, the people of God to being a giver at that occasion only. There, there's a need. Eh? There's a need. And God sees the need. Yes, God sees the need. Now, God is needing hands, hands, many hands to be able to pull together so that the need and the, and the, and the, and the, and the clearing and the working of that need 
right, does not fall on just a few, but it falls on many of us. I know my, my mom continues to tell me, even to this day, she says, many work, many hands make light work. Amen. So I just want to encourage you in that because I have not been with you since, since the storm, since the hurricane. Amen. But at that time, as I said before, I, I, I also want to minister this morning to those of you who, who get up and they want to be jubilant. They want to be happy. They want to be blessed. They want to be assured that God is going to be doing something great in their life. That, you know, things that they are praying for don't seem to be coming through as quickly as they want. Yes, you are there too. You have great intentions for if this should happen, I would bless this person. But, but it's so, it, it's, it's, things seem to be so hard. And then the so-called situation in the economy isn't making it worse because although we know we function on a different economy, a God type of economy, for some reason it seems as though the money is getting harder and harder to come by. But I just want you to know <clears throat> that God Almighty knows. Men and women of God, I tell you that God knows. It is strange for us to, you know, even sometimes sit back and amaze ourselves with the fact that there is nothing that Almighty God already does not know concerning your life. The Bible says that God has numbered the hair on your head. Now, it is... I, I studied that context and realized that he does not know, he, the Bible never said that he only knew the number. <laughs> because the thing is, is the number is, 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 it could be 100 grains, 1,000 grains. In my case, it could be 3 grains. But the point I am making is, is that he's not only talking about a number. He is saying, the Bible says, he has numbered. In other words, every grain of hair upon your head, upon your body, the Bible says that God has numbered them, numbered them. Which means he has every single one he has an account for. If he knows even the amount of hair on your head, he knows everything concerning you. And that's a place to be assured of because if the one who has the power to change everything knows it already, then it is about us being able to move in the faith that is required to get it done. So this morning in the name of Jesus, I declare that there are certain declarations that I want us to make. There are certain declarations that I want us to be able to, to, to relate to this morning. Hallelujah. And the first one is by saying, just say after me, my joy, sh my joy shall multiply today as I receive unlimited favor in the name of Jesus. Yes, look at the screen. Face the screen and you friends of mine that are in Guyana also looking at me. I want you to stretch your hands to the screen, right? Or stretch or, 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 or if, you, if you also feel like you could, you could lay your hands on your head or on your heart. But just declare right now, do a posture to cooperate with me that my joy shall multiply today. As I receive unlimited favor in the name of Jesus. Isn't that a good thing to receive today? Unlimited favor. You know, when you're driving through the, the, the city, when you're driving through the... Sometimes it's so difficult to get parking. And unlimited favor starts with the fact that as you, as you look in this crowded car park and you're now getting into the car park, somebody leaves just at the spot where it's ideal for you to get in. Favor. Amen. You, you things are not are not are not looking like it is for you to get that job or you to get that promotion or you to get that account or, or whatever. But something happens. Something God does the 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 the, 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 the manipulation and the, the the I don't want to say gerrymandering, but all the all the works together and then bam, it's yours. That's what we talk about. So that's one of the first things. The other thing. That I want us to declare is nothing will be impossible for me because I am in Christ. And through him I can do all things. 
Yes, nothing will be impossible for me because I am in Christ. And through him I can do all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you internalized that, that nothing is impossible <clears throat> for me today? That which I am trying to achieve is already possible. Ah, put it in your head, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. I just have to know how to get it. But it is possible. It is not impossible. Oh, I just at this time also want to lift up, oh, Heavenly Father, those beautiful people who, 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 who through their lives, sometimes I know a lot of people think it's impossible for them, but every time I am in this ministry, I'm seeing how possible it is for people who, who exist in, 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 in a struggle to come to understand the love of Christ. And I'm talking so much about the people of, 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 of Bethel, um, in the village, this beautiful village of Bethel in Tobago right here. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for those people. We thank you for every single one of them, every one of them who are on their way to knowing Christ for themselves. Those who are on their way to a personal and powerful relationship. Those who are going through their issues and as a result of going through their issues will come to understand the love of God. Those people who are seeing church in a whole new different way. Thanks, oh Heavenly Father, to... To, to, the, to, to the ministry of KCC Bethel right now and what they're doing there, hallelujah, and what we are doing there. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for those people. I thank you for every single, single one of them, those that are on the block right now, every one of them who, who right now would have maybe um, taken um, 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 drugs or, or, or whatever it is, or, or, or they are just struggling. God, Lord, I thank you because you love them. I love them, oh Heavenly Father. And as a result of that, we are going to pursue and continue to work with them in the name of Jesus. I thank you for how they have accommodated this church. They have accommodated us. They have been so warm. Oh, Heavenly Father, I have never seen a warmer village in the island of Tobago than the people of Bethel. And I tell you, I thank God for them. I thank God in the name of Jesus that no matter what their station is, they, it is and how difficult it is, it is never too hard for the people of Bethel to give. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you. That, that just came to me and I, and I said that in this beautiful Friday morning where I want to just have positive declarations, when I want to have the ability for, for us to just Speak things of that, that, that are good, that are good report. That God, Lord, I come before you as, as, as a minister, O Heavenly Father. And I declare right now that this morning we shall continue to give you praise and blessings. But at the same time, we are going to declare right things concerning us. O Heavenly Father, ah, Heavenly Father, we declare right now another declaration. O Lord... Let your spirit lead me to unlimited success and favor this month in the name of Jesus. And I know that this month is ended, but in all seriousness, the next time you go to work after today would be a brand new month. So I'm talking now about your spirit leading us to, 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 to great success. We declare it, no matter what we see, that's what we declare, oh Heavenly Father. Let your favor reign in my life today and forever in the name of Jesus. We want continuous favor. As a matter of fact, God, Lord, we declare that we want a favor factory. Hallelujah. Right in our life in the name of Jesus that we continue to manufacture favor. You know, this, this, this might sound funny, but before... When, 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 before I, you know, I, 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 I learned the love of Christ and I, and I used to be on the block and, and liming in the bars and stuff. There was this fella that had loved alcohol so much that I remember a time he, he proposed to write a letter to Angostura. 
asking them to set up a factory right outside his house with a line directly like a tap so that he could receive whenever he wanted the liquor. But hallelujah, I am declaring that we have that mindset for the things of God, that we want to be able to con have continuous access, continuous access to the things of God, continuous access to the favor of God, continuous access to the benefits of the love of God. Hallelujah. Let me be at the right place at the right time. Oh, Heavenly Father, this talks to guiding and ordering my steps, Almighty God. Help me to be in a position, Almighty God, to be able to, be able to receive. God, Lord, put me in line. Put me at the right spot. God, Lord, and I declare that I shall cooperate with you. Because I have no doubt that you're trying to line up your people. I have no doubt you're trying to line us up continuously. But God, Lord, sometimes we operate in our own disobedience. And we miss the mark so many times. And God, Lord, I'm thanking you because although we miss the mark so many times, you are faithful. You are faithful. You for continue to forgive us. And then you continue to just press us and place us again. Oh, how I thank you for your love, almighty God. I thank you, oh, heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I declare that those who would have rejected you in the past, oh, okay, they be shut up, those who would have rejected you in the past, I declare in the name of Jesus that them same ones will open doors for you. Yes, 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 you. The very same ones in the name of Jesus that would have rejected you in the past shall now open doors for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Wherever I go, I declare that your blessings shall follow us. Yes, yes. You know, there's a declaration that is said in the book of, 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 of Psalm. And it says... Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the presence or the house or the tabernacle of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And that is the declaration that I also share with you. That as I go, as you go today, no matter what the situation is, is it a court case? Then I'm telling you, listen to who would, I, I, I don't know who else will be there to visit you. But I'm pretty sure that the judge or the magistrate will be there. Yes, the judge and the magistrate will be there. They have to be or the case would not go on. Your lawyer ought to be there. And yes, if the lawyer isn't there, then they may adjourn it. I don't know what the situation is or what the ramifications are. But, but I'm telling you, your lawyer ought to be there. My brother or sister, I am declaring to you also that you ought to be there. And if you are not there, it is possible the case can go on and not work in your favor. But I am declaring, I'm speaking to somebody this morning, but I am declaring to you that two people are going to be there no matter who else cannot make it. And that is goodness and that is mercy. And I declare right now that if you just partner with me, that goodness and mercy, that's what the word of God says, shall follow me. All the days of my life, and today is one of the days of your life. So I just say that to just encourage you, to just suggest to you that, listen, God is in the business of being there for us. Hallelujah. So wherever I go, let your blessings follow me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a reference in, in John 16 that talks about the Spirit guiding us into all truth. And I'm saying right now, Holy Spirit, direct us into the wonderful things you have in store for us in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. 
Oh yes, I want us to come back to the position to know that God has wonderful things stored up for us. Ah, listen to me. I want us to change our mindset. I want us to have a mindset. It is so difficult. The odds of you, you and me, the ones that stand on the earth today, the odds of us actually even being here because of conception is actually almost infinite. So as a result of that, the fact that you came, there is a reason. And the fact that you are on the earth, there is a reason. And Jeremiah talks about it when he says that um, God's thoughts towards us are not for evil. But, but, but for, to give us a hope and an expected end. And, and, and the point I'm making there is that, and, and what is said here in, the, in, in, in John 16 and verse 13 is that, God has, because you exist, because God has allowed you to exist, many of us, many of us, many of us would have been our, our, our life, despite the thought of abortion. Many of us are alive despite the attempt of abortion. So you think that you have survived and have reached the stage. And it is because God does not have a wonderful plan for you. Oh, no, 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 no. I tell you, those that preach to you anything that, that less than the fact that you are God's best is a liar in your life and a distraction. You are almighty God's best. And as a result of that, I am talking to myself too, to let me know that I am God's best. And I deserve wonderful things. So as a result of that, I declare right now. Now, the truth is, you may not be performing at your best at this stage. But you are still precious. And God has a wonderful thing. So as a result of that, the Holy Spirit must direct me and you into the wonderful things that you have in store for me. I will succeed. Say this after me. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed and not fail. Because Christ dwells richly in me. Hallelujah. 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 Christ dwells richly in me. Men and women of God, you are a success. Let's just find a way. I know that's a challenge. The, fa the challenge is finding a way. It is like I have a bunch of house keys. And when we just moved into our house, our house was new at the time. And we had all these keys. I know that my front door keys were on this bunch. And I, for, for, many, for many, many weeks or maybe months even, I would struggle with what key for the house, for that door, because all the keys looked the same. And of course, I didn't have the presence of mind at the time to just mark the key, you know. But be that as it may, so I would struggle. But one thing I knew for sure is that even when I tried a key and it didn't work, I didn't worry too much because I know that the bunch of keys had the key in it. The key was there. And that's the solution that I want you to know, that in the word of God, the key is there. You may not have found it yet, but the key is there. So as a result of that, I want us to not, to, to, to not despair. And let us move in faith. Let us move in the fact that the key is there. The key for every door to be opened in your life is in your hand, my brother. The key to open every door of success and breakthrough in your life is in your hand, my sister. It is there. Ah, listen to me. The promises of God are true. The Bible says that God is not a man that he can lie. The Bible says that God will never repent from the promises he gave to us. 
In other words, God will never say that I will do this for you and not do it. And that is the encouragement that I want to have to, to leave with us this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to also just declare right now that, 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 that we at KCC Better and, 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 and the whole Victory Outreach family will be celebrating our anniversary this Sunday at 4 p.m. at KCC Better. That's up Beverly Hills. It's going to be a wonderful time. Come and see. Come and see men and women of God, what people are, what God is doing with his lovely and beautiful people in the village of Better. Come and see how the, how, how the grace of God is shining on these beautiful children. Ah, Heavenly Father, they are young boys. I remember one of them right now, a, a beautiful young boy by the name of, of Mason, Right? And that young man was, wasn't doing so well at school. And then he, he encountered the, the, the after school classes that we have there. And the young man is now in a matter of weeks, a matter of months, in a matter of just less than a year. That young man is now a straight A student. Glory to be to God. And that's what I'm talking about. God is doing great things there. People who would have operated like they didn't know God are now in church. Hallelujah. And telling people and are active about things of Christ. People who are not yet in church are still extremely accommodating. So we want to celebrate them all. We want to celebrate them all this Sunday. And as a result, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. I want to invite you at the same time. 4 p.m., Sunday, the 1st of October. We want you to be there if you can make it. At the same time, if you can't, I want you to also just continue to pray for the ministries that are going into the places and are introducing people to the love of Christ. We are not church as usual. We are church not usual. And as a result of that, we are trying to do things where the church is a community church. So every man on the street is a member of our congregation. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for TIN. We thank you, Lord, for every single one. We thank you, Lord, for the people listening. We thank you, Lord, for their lives. God, Lord, we praise you. We glorify you. We lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You alone are great. You alone are mighty. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.